Greetings, Commander. I mean, <clears throat> Overlord. Those humans keep looking at us funny with strange metal implements in their hands. Maybe we should do something. I heard there's some trumpet blowing advisor who might be able to help. Although last I heard, he was jabbering on about Kremnos or something. Think he's finally lost our plot. A bam and welcome everybody to Creeper World. Uh, today we're playing a light players creep map called The Feast. Very excited. What a lovely map. There's some paths, there's some stuff going on. We've got mesh. I know you have kind of want to give me some mesh, but I kind of want to remove your mesh. Uh, wow, okay. Kind of didn't realize that mesh created creep when it was dissolved. Wild. Wow, we can, oh, we can instantly get that nullifier online. Wow, can we actually just straight up go over there? Uh, get that emitter. Very cool. Okay, well, this area is all kind of looking after itself. We'll kind of remesh, remesh it up. I just want that to kind of become mine. Also, there is a dark tower, which is very nice. Love that. We've got an air sack. We've got more coming in a minute. They've got a lot of AC production. That should all be mine. This is all looking great. That's producing some. Oh, geez, actually, I probably do want mesh. Uh, go smaller. Uh, three is still too big. Two. Right, just slam right up into that front line. God, they are sh aggressively shielding. If I can get up there, I can just shut down a lot of their production very soon. I feel like this back area is sort of okay for the time being. So maybe we buff this boy instead. I'd love it if we could egg our way in. Well, hopefully this guy will start making eggs. Okay, that's looking nice. Man, they are hyper-aggressive on the front lines. Luckily, that's sort of producing a little bit. We could just... Let's just take out some shields straight away. As I don't want to have to really deal with them a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to give them a few eggs to play with. That seems funny. Just kind of hurt. Oh, we cut them off. Okay, if just some of those get blown up, that would be super good. Some skimmers instantly coming out, causing a bit of mischief. Great, okay. I feel like we've got to be really, really started out strong. Where can I push them back to? There is a nice spot. This is a choke point that I want to be at. Is there any sneaking to be done? Wow, what happened back here? Uh, okay, well. I am not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, so. Let's just hurt a bit of that. And. Let's just try and take out that M Rift. Wow, that was a really surprise. I guess that must have been a spore that came down. But I took out good amount of mines. Okay, wow, that was hyper lucky. Uh, that is one level above very lucky. Okay, because if this can make creep for me, we're definitely in the good timeline. Now, where else are we looking? I want to get this mine field going. They've got an emrift in there, which we can kind of hope to jump in and deal with. Getting that dark tower. I kind of want to use it, mainly because I never really get the option to. One. Two. If that platform can die. Okay. Fairly solid start. I just need the breakers to be destroyed. So I'm not sure if they will rebuild their beacons. I don't know if they have that technology. Okay, well the back the back side of the map is looking great. Up here is sort of fine. I'm probably not gonna hold it. Not without a lot of a lot of commitment of forces. I guess we could actually just give them a couple of rocks. 
see how that kind of looks. Uh, I want the Dark Tower. Here. Blow up one more beacon. And then once that beacon goes down, as long as they don't build another... Another nullifier? I think we're kind of in the good timeline. Great. <laughs> Look how much damage that does to them. So if you're unfamiliar, a dark tower uh, kind of does what it says on the tin. It creates a field of darkness, which the enemies, none of their buildings will work whilst they're inside that zone. All I need is like one more buff, maybe two, and I can just cut off this entire portion of the map. Give me one more boost. Thank you, sir. Okay. Great, they are cut off there. Unless they had shenanigans coming along here. They can't stop me. So they will still keep making anti-creep. That's fine. But, yeah, this whole front island, they're not getting supplies. If they had an MRF down there, maybe they could do it. But right now, not a chance in hell. Sorry, not a chance in heck. I didn't mean to... I don't mean to swear. Okay, this island is going to fall apart, but I'm not too worried about that. We're getting enough real estate elsewhere. Now, where are their mines? Is it those that are producing everything? Surely you just. They're probably going to rebuild. So we can't really throttle them too hard. Also, because they only have a couple of guns on these choke points, they're not actually using that much. How much ammo right now? Oh, they can rebuild beacons. Interesting. Luckily, I don't know if the AI is kind of dynamic enough to be building beacons up. I feel like that probably needs to be programmed from the beginning. Okay, who do we want to buff? The obvious choice is Essex. So I could just super extend out the Dark Tower and just cover the entire map, which would have a charm all of its own. Okay. Let's just get a few more air sex because, well, they might do something. You never know. There's always a chance. Okay, I've got a lot of eggs. This has got a bit of a slow grind forward so that maybe I don't even need to bother advancing up there. They've got mortars. So I could just try and cut them off. So I do want to come up to the mainland and get this little area up and running. Nice, okay, it made some creep immediately. Right, they're having to pull the guns back down. I have nine rocks, so I can snipe a portion of these, these guys when they come in. Let's just do it. Okay, they're having to commit a lot of their forces down here. Ah, oh, they've easily shut it down. Essek, got to just drop now. Great job! Really good work. That is exactly what I was after. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Nice to get in there. Have this bit working for me rather than the enemy. Okay, anything just to try and curtail their AC production. That means all of my creep will be focusing in on these points. Okay, they do not understand how the darkness works. Or do they? Their mortars still kind of fire a little bit. Which seems a bit like cheating. We just run the mesh right up to the shield. And it should start forcing its way in. They don't have enough firepower to really shut down the crimson. Please. Please, air sacs, you're getting in my way. Okay, you need a bit of loving. And I think that could be rock-based love. Just take out some of the defenders. Okay, Essex are kind of just having a fun, fun time. They're taking part. Right, this is the island I need to try and take out. We could just, like, sort of sneak our way into there. Uh, but I don't know if that's what I want to do at this very moment. Where are they getting their supplies from? That M-Rift. Okay, I have all the boosts in the world. Blobs could be good... Skimmer's always good. Maybe spores today. 
Let's go up to a red hot 29 spores. Like, they have missile defense, but I have spores. Ooh, that was a good air sac. Man, did you see how he just sniped those platforms? Heck yeah. Good job. Okay, so what I'm hoping for is spores to hit shields and take them out. As if a spore ever collides with a shield, it will temporarily take it down. So a situation like this, like guns that are just shooting into an area where they're clearly never going to clear it out, is actually, I kind of don't want to destroy these. Because that's just using up a lot of resources for them. And not costing me really that much. Oh, there's an emitter there. Probably could have got that way earlier. Okay, I'm gonna egg. Because this could be some good... Good real estate. So this is all gonna stop producing creep for me, which I am just in love with that idea. Now where are we going? Oh, look at this! We've got a little collection of, uh... Collection of boys. But I need to get that back edge. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to trying to help. Let's let's give them a few more. What are we on? Forty nine. We could just rock our way in. Let's just let's just drop all the rocks, thin out the defenses, and increase mesh quantities. Before they get a shield up. Can I sever? Oh, nuts, no, so they got their shield up. <laughs> they got their shield up as I was just goofing around. <laughs> okay, whoever is stuffing all their balls in that corner. It's fun, but you're not helping. Oh, we've got that weird shield glitch again. Oh, jeez, let's just go all skimmers. There we go, 23 skimmers coming out. I just need something to attack those front lines. Okay, don't just attack the platforms. That's not helping anyone. I need you up here, setting, shutting down weapons. Okay, let's just give them eggs to play with. Okay, so they still have an MRF in the corner, but... That is not too big a problem. I think I can actually cut them off from that. I just let these shields kind of suffer the old logistics death. They're using a lot of eggs to do this though. Cut off from the mainland, and yeah, with all the skinners coming in, spores, air sacs. I think this entire area's days are severely numbered. Okay, we're going to fly on the AC just so I can actually see what's going on. There are a few patches where I can be making creep in there. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of spores. If the powers of the skinners and the spores combine, will be pretty healthy. Yeah, I'm just going to put a whole load of eggs, just in case the spore ever lands, then we will be in a great spot there. Actually, maybe let's just hedge our bets and yeah, we'll put some, in, some eggs in between. So basically an egg will only pop if there's creep nearby. And if a single spore lands, it should, for a split second, have creep. All of these will actually turn into eggs. Uh, they'll get shot down. That will make me some more creep and then hopefully trigger the other part. We could just do it, run out of the side, but I'm kind of happy just to watch my creep kind of slowly work its way in and just see all my weapons kind of do their, do their business. That's a big old... Oh, I was hoping the air sac could actually land. Man, those skimmers are doing such work. They shut down such huge quantities of their base. There we go. Okay, I don't know what happened, but yeah, all of the eggs went off. 
Sally, the anti-creep, is going to kind of deal with a lot of this, but that was a very healthy quantity of stuff coming out. You don't have an M-Rift, so actually we can just cut off your supply lines, and then that little area will fall. And maybe we can just speed this process up. Because this white line, that is making them more anti-creep. Right. Let's just egg. Egg all of that. Get rid of most of the outside of the base. Oh, they are kind of doing a little push. I respect that. Well done. Uh, I will have to still kill you, but... You're okay. Right, so now... <laughs> the spores. They've got a good quantity of shields. I don't know if they're going to bust through. Oh, they don't actually have have a lot of anti-creep. Because they've got all of these shields, they can't maintain a lot of creep in their base. But, man, those missile launchers are doing such good work. We could just go all out on just a million spores. I don't know if that is the dream, though. Oh, it's good. It's good, compact little base. Slowly eking in the side, though. Let's get mesh up here. Oh, if the spores coming at the same time as the air sacs. A uh, little bit mistimed. But... Oh. Shields are getting taken out. The creep is kind of coming in. Ooh, that was a shield. Just meshing up towards them. Ooh. What's that? Are those just actual spores landing? Wow, okay, right, I think we've kind of hit that critical mass. They don't have enough guns. And we are getting through the moment that factory goes down. This this map is mine. The progress they're making now. Jeez, like I literally just drew that mesh outside and we've taken a lot of territory. Oh, the air sacs are getting involved. That's a lot of spores. It's over. Wow, we had like a lot of a lot of goods left. Great. Great stuff. Wow. Amazing. That was a great map. Oh, if this is your first first map you made, I'm very impressed. Really, really enjoyable. Okay, so I am kind of interested, uh, once again, just because I get to play around with them so so little, just how much work that Dark Tower can do. So what I want to do is just see if I only buff the Dark Tower, how long does it take? Like the last time it took about 50 minutes. Um, I, admittedly, I wasn't spending all of my boosts when I could. Uh, kind of, I just, you know, when it's already beginning to win, I quite, quite like just watching uh, the cascade happen. Egg, egg, egg. Okay, ten. <laughs> wow, four eggs was enough. And... Okay, so it's got a good area of the map. Uh, I always like to hide paths. Because then you just get to see where the main routes are that they're taking. Uh, you there. Beep. Okay, so this whole area is now kind of cut off. Unless they've got an Emrift hidden in there, uh, which I'm not overly worried about. So how's it going? They are kind of just winning the anti creep war at the moment. I don't have a lot of options on fighting that. But probably it's not going to be the problem. Okay, we have 10 more boosts to use. 69 to 73. Oh yeah, it's gonna take, I think it's gonna take more than 15. Uh, okay. Really creeping in. Like all of these front lines just kind of collapse <laughs> immediately that they're in the dark. Interesting that these don't actually look like they're affected by it. The platforms. Maybe they are. I guess they are cut off from the rest of society. Did you foresee this, and have you put a beacon in your base? I can't instantly see one. But, geez, old blindo here. That does not mean that there isn't one. It just means I'm bad at spotting stuff. Okay, we've definitely used over 15. I think we need at least another 5 or 6 to get through there. 
right, we are getting very close. One. Two. Okay. Right, yeah. All of their production has been shut down. They're now generating one, which is just coming from the, the command center and going nowhere. It's been just like spores kind of take stuff out. Maybe. Blobs? Uh, I guess actually sending blobs in as the hitman. I guess actually you could just pull them apart with air sacs. Like, look at all these air sacs flying around. Wow, actually, is that the funniest, <laughs> funniest way to do it? It's not going to be the quickest. Oh man, look at the air sac go. It's doing great. Because yeah, whatever they drop stuff on does die. Oh heck yeah, do it. From the darkness came the air sacs. It's one of the few times where the air sacs have not just instantly been blasted out of the sky. And yeah, they slowly pick this map apart. Ooh, that one threw it on the base. Yeah, if you all just keep throwing at the base, then... Kind of could do this. It's going to take a little a little while. Wow! Someone really threw theirs. Ooh, the air sac sniped it! Wow, that was a lot of chains. Okay, great. Yeah, turns out Dark Tower, absolute winner's choice. Loved that. This was great. This was really, really nicely designed, Matt. I think, you know, having not too many MREFs means that you can, like, kind of do a bit of strategy. The uh, the choke points made it, like, nice carve-upable sort of tactical chunks. Like, little areas to try and take out. Great. Really, really good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Man, God, I still just love Creeper World. Uh, I hope you do, too. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. See ya!